Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker out here in the middle of Nebraska somewhere. <laughs> well, fuzzy, you're not on a motorcycle. What's the deal? I don't know if you guys can see it back there, but there is a motorcycle back there. I'm in the, uh, I'm in an F something or another super duty pickup. And I'm in traffic going down I-80 somewhere in Nebraska. And uh, we are going to deliver a motorcycle to a fellow in McAllen. Texas, I think it is. And from where I started this morning to McAllen is 1,800 some odd miles. So what's going on? Well, my motorcycle is in the shop, my favorite Himalayan, my 452, and uh, they're doing work to it. And uh, they think it'll be done middle of this week or maybe next week. So I got a little bit of extra time. Uh, I thought about taking the uh, Super Meteor and heading down to Oklahoma, but it's going to be cold down there, and eh, not really that bad, but cool, cool, until later this week, the end of this week. So I thought, well, I got a couple of days extra. And Baxter Cycle had a couple of motorcycles or a motorcycle they needed to rent, so I thought I'd do them a favor and do me a favor, and uh, this way I get out of town. I just don't like being home. I like to be on the road or moving. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to sit on the couch or sit in the easy chair, you know, get sucked into that. So here we are. Beautiful Nebraska out there, just rolling down the road. <laughs> anyway, I will, uh, so we're going through, I think it's going to be, so we did Iowa, we'll go to Nebraska, Oklahoma, Texas, all the way down to the bottom of Texas. Somewhere in Texas, I'll get a hotel tonight and uh, I will catch up with you all then. How's that sound? Wahoo! Hey, Fuzzy Biker here. We are just about five hours into the old ride somewhere in Kansas. I forgot about Kansas when I was listing all the different towns we had to stop. I think I'll show you the truck real quick. So we're driving a F-350. In the back, we've got this really nifty black on black with mags. 2024 Royal Enfield with a custom tank on it. I think the backs are locked. I got the back all locked up, so I can't really show you that, but uh, here's another side view. <laughs> beautiful bike, beautiful bike. Big old truck. I'm down, I've got about 130, 150 miles of uh, fuel left, so I'm gonna top it off. So just about five hours in, another five hours tonight, and then we'll hit uh, find a hotel maybe after that. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get the fuel, get that taken care of, pull over here, get some supper. <sighs> what a ride, what a ride. Catch up at the end of it, wahoo. Hey, just uh, just had my Burger King fix. A little bit of a caffeine fix too, so ready to hit the road. <laughs> There's the old Burger King there. Forgot to mention, on the way down, I couldn't find any good radio stations. So I got some early country music. I, I recognize those guys, you know, the old old stuff. And I got, they kept saying new country, new country, new country. And uh, I didn't recognize any of those people, but uh, it was pretty good stuff. I, I enjoyed it. You know, the same old sorrow songs, but uh, hey, let's keep on a going. Bye. Hey y'all, Fuzzy Biker here, tired Fuzzy Biker. I've been in this truck now. Uh, got in at Kansas, got some fuel. That was seven and a half hours ago, and I've uh, been in the truck rolling down the road the whole time. We are in, we're just outside of Waco, steakhouse over there, 7-Eleven. A couple of hotels around here. I'm going to get a room and uh, get some fuel first because we're down to, since we have 178 miles to go. So we got, we got a little bit of fuel left, but we're going to top it off. And then uh, tomorrow we've got about six and a half hours of driving yet, so... That's amazing. Almost 13 hours of riding today, driving today, and then another six and a half hours tomorrow to get to the destination. The, uh, got out of, uh, got through Oklahoma and uh, it started taking me on these funny roads that there was uh, construction work detours on 35. So that was, that took a lot of time. That added probably an hour or two, I suppose let's say an hour, and then uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, that was actually really good. It was this heavy traffic 
for an old Iowa boy like me, but I've been through there before when it was much, much worse. So <laughs> I think we did pretty good. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is put this camera up and get some fuel and get a hotel and uh, I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Life is good. Get out and I don't know what you do at this time of night. Wahoo!